I think it was just the level of difference between this and what I normally do for my work. I work in a research lab. I only present to people who are part of technical audiences. When I originally got the email, I'd already been signed up for a two-minute thesis, and I talked with my advisor, and we thought it would be a great opportunity, and we kind of thought, why not? So I signed up. You know, everyone has an elevator speech. They're used to giving on their research, but then actually demonstrating not just the significance of it, but what you actually found and getting the audience to understand that is probably the hardest part. Mushrooms are magic. Because you spend like hundreds of hours and you just have three minutes to condense everything. So that was one of the biggest challenges I ever tried, but I love it. There's a saying about how preparing for shorter presentations actually takes longer and from the many rewrites I did, even though I was in journalism in undergrad as well, it took me a bit to try to condense it down. So by training on the air, we are taking a first step toward improving Definitely be familiar with your research and this is a great way to test how familiar you are with it because three minutes goes by so quickly. Once again, just to highlight how important it is to focus yourself on learning how to communicate science. As scientists, if we research in vacuums and never talk to people who aren't scientists, our work is never going to get out into the public and that's really why we're doing what we're doing, right? So just the importance of focusing on communication skills in graduate school as well as the technical skills you're trying to develop.